Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create dynamic circle chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful chart wherein I have displayed four different quarters service level value. And we have given a dynamic data level text for each service level here. You can see, you can customize the data level text as per your requirement. And then you can use this chart for your presentation. The size of the circle is getting changed on the basis of current value of the service level. In the service level, I have used the rand between formula to put some random number from 1 to 70% or the 100% you can take here. And then you can fill this down and it is dynamically taking the random number. Here you can see it is changing the number and we can see the data labels also accordingly. And if you want to change the sample text and you want to add here some other text in place of this, then you can see that text will be changed for that particular quarter. All right. Now I will explain you how can you create this beautiful chart in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. I will copy this data and I will add a new workbook. Press Ctrl N and just paste this here. Now we need few support column to create this. The first we will take here the max value. Max value is the maximum value of the service label. So here I am putting 1 or 100% because the service label maximum service label value can be 100%. Now we will take two more column. The first column we will take circle position where you want to show the circle. So because we are taking the maximum value as 1 or 100%. So I'm putting the circle position at about 70%. It's a Y axis position of the circle position. So I'm just keeping all circle positions in a straight line. Now I want to put the position where you want to show this data label text. So I'm putting here data label text position. So data label text position I'm putting here 0 0.3 or 2. Okay. So we are putting this y axis position. Now I will explain you how we can create that chart. So what I will do first, I'll go to the insert and then I'll go to the charts. And here in scatter chart, I will take a bubble chart. So I'll take this bubble chart. Now here we have created a blank bubble chart. Now what I will do, I will right click here, go to the select data and I will start adding the series. So I will add first series. And that first series I will take for the maximum value. So I will select the series name as maximum value. And X axis I will take these quarter number. And the Y axis I will take circle position. So here we will create our maximum value circle. And the bubble size we will take whatever size of the maximum value you have given here. Just click on OK. OK. So here you can see four different equal circle. Okay, and position we have given 0.7. So here you can see it is at 0.7 for four different quarters. Now we will add one more series for this service level value. So I will right click, go to the select data. And here I will add another series. And this time we will take the series name as service level SL percentage. And series X value, we will keep the same, the quarter numbers. And the buy value also we will keep the same because we want to create on the same position wherein we have created this max value circle. But the bubble size we will take the actual service level value. Just click on OK. OK. All right. So here you can see the different circles. If you want to make it little bigger, you can right click, go to the format data series. And here you can see we have a scale bubble size 2. And we can take here around 150 in place of 100. So you can see we have the bubbles little bigger and you can change this value also if you want to format the axis and here we have the maximum value 5 but you can keep here 4 because we have the 4 quarters or you can keep it 4.5 so the circle will be visible properly and minimum value you can keep here 0 0.5 okay now these circles are properly visible all right now let's close this and here I'll go to this plus button and I will add the chart title here and I will remove the grid lines and I will remove the axis also. 
okay so you can put the chart title whatever you want to put now we will fill the different colors for the different bubbles so what i will do to fill the different colors i'll keep some smaller number of service level so that i can select the bubble properly let's keep it 1 to 40 for now so now uh, i will select this first blue color the big circle then i'll go to the format and here i will fill this color and then I will select this small circle. Make sure you have not selected all the circles. Then let's take this color here and shape outline. Let's take no outline. Then I will select this blue one. Just click once again so that only this one will be selected. Here I will take this color and this small circle. And then I will choose this light green color. Now select this third bigger circle. Click again. And here we will fill this yellow color. And just select this circle click again and let's fill this color here last bigger circle just click and let's fill this light blue color the small circle and let's fill this this blue color light blue. all right so we have created this one and now if I will change it to 1 to 100 and I fill this down then if I will recalculate the seat here you can see the size is getting changed now we want to display the data level so what i will do i'll select the bigger circle select this right click add data level so here you can see the data level is added 0.7 just right click go to the format data level this format data level window will be popped up and here scroll it down and just select below then scroll it up and let's take the value from cells and we will show here this service level value here you can see click on ok uncheck the buy value and just close this one now we have the actual service level value here we will make it slightly bigger let's take around 30 and font i will take here arial rounded empty bold and the font color i'll select the only one box here just click again and i'll take the relevant font here this one just click here and let's take this green light green so I'm taking the same font which I have used for this circle. Let's take here this below. All right. Now, if you want to show some customized text here, let's say this one. So whatever text you will put to show in the data label, you can display it on the chart. I will tell you that trick. Just right click, go to the select data. We will add a new series and this series will be data label text and the X value will remain same these quarter number and the buy value so this time we will display at 0.3 level and the bubble size you can keep any size so let's take the same 0.3 because we don't want to display the bubble we will just display the text click on ok ok select this gray bubble right click add data label data label is available here right click go to the format data label and take the value from cells and we will select this data label text click on ok uncheck the buy value scroll it down select below now i will select this gray bubble go to the format and go to the save fill i'll take no fill shape outline i'll choose no outline so this is not visible i will select this text i'll take the font as arial rounded empty bold and the font size you can take around 11 or 12 here you can see it is displayed properly you can change the font color as per the theme just select the first one let's take this one or you can make it little darker let's take this one similarly here this one and here also and here also all right so chart is ready you can put the chart title quarterly service label or if you want to keep another title you can keep that all right friends so friends that is how you can create this dynamic circle chart you can use this in your powerpoint presentation i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching